everyone, welcome to another game development episode where we're recreating the Legend of Zelda in Game Maker. In today's episode, we are actually going to finish out this title sequence where we do the animation that you see here for both the waterfall and the Triforce, as well as the fading out, sort of, we'll get to that. And we're gonna add the music to top it all off. So, all right, real quick, before we get started, I'd like to give an update to everyone that watched my latest channel video update. In that video, I talked about adding more tutorials and that I was thinking about moving to Game Maker Studio 2 for those tutorials, and that was fine. But I also indicated that I was considering moving this series, the Zelda series, to Game Maker Studio 2. And that's where I received a lot of feedback. And while there were some people that wanted me to move the series to Game Maker Studio 2 because they want to learn that, the overwhelming majority of you that are the dedicated people that are watching this day in day out trying to learn would rather me stick to Game Maker Studio 1 or 1.4 right now for very valid reasons. In fact, I also found out that the current beta version that's out for Game Maker Studio 2 has severe limitations that would prevent us from even doing the series in Game Maker Studio 2. So for those reasons and for you guys who are really trying to learn with the current Game Maker Studio, I'm going to keep this series on version 1.4. So don't worry, we're going to continue this series and try to finish it out on the current version. All right, so moving on to the tutorial. Um, let me hit reset on this again, and I'll talk about what we're we're going to be doing. So we're going to animate this. There's there's two parts really. It's this animation for the background, and then the waterfall. The waterfall is actually two parts: the blue part that you see in the back, and then the the waves. And then we're going to fade it out. We're not going to fade to blue like that because um, I, I think we we'd have to do a palette swap, and I'm not really quite sure how we'll tackle that yet. So we're just going to learn to fade to black um, in this episode. So let's go ahead and, and get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple sprites. Um, we'll start by adding a new group. We're gonna call that group, um, let's just call it title. And we'll group all our sprites here. So we're gonna uh, create a sprite. This one's gonna be called sprite. Move this to, to the middle here. Sprite title. And we'll go to Edit Sprite, and we're going to go to File, Add from Strip, and I already have it here. It's called Title Animation. Uh, before, we used the static background, um, but this one has the Triforces animated. So we'll open that, and there's actually four images here that you can see. And all it's doing is it's... Actually, it's more than that. I think it's nine, right? Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these, so we'll see six. Uh, images and it's 256 by 240 is the height and you can just see that it's going from this gold to a lighter one back to this one to the dark to even darker dark and then it just starts over so it's just looping through all these over and over and you can kind of see it here okay so that's actually all we need for that the next one we're going to do is create the sprite waterfall we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna edit sprite. We're gonna to go to file, add from script. And it's this one right here, the waterfall that's all blue. This one's actually four images. So we'll do four by four. The width is 32, but the height is 64 here. And all that gives us is that background of the splashing of the waterfall. Click okay. And then the last one we're gonna do is create sprite. It's gonna be sprite. Um, waterfall waves. Same thing. We'll add from strip. And this one, you can't see it, but I'll show you in just a second. This one is nine images. It's also 32 by 64. And you can see it's just the, the waves coming down like that. Okay. So that's really all we needed for that. And we're done with all the sprites. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the objects. We'll create another group called title. And we're gonna add objects for each one of those. So we're gonna say object um, title. We're gonna add that sprite that we just created for the title. We're gonna do a add a create event. And we're just add um, image speed is equal to, let's just say 0.2 for now. 
we're gonna adjust that in just a minute. We're gonna do that basically for each one of these. We're gonna right click object, we're gonna do object, waterfall, go click the sprite for that, which is the blue one, add event, create, right click, and we'll do the same thing. So image speed is equal to 0.2. Let's actually just copy that. We'll use that in the next one. So the last one is the waterfall waves. So object, water, fall, waves, choose that sprite. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go put all these sprites into the actual room. So we're gonna open up the title room here. Let me expand on this and zoom in. Okay, so we don't need the background anymore, so we'll go to the background and we'll actually go ahead and set it to none. We're gonna change the background color to black because when we fade, we're gonna fade it to black. And then let's put the snaps to 16 by 16. And now we're gonna to go to objects. The first object we're gonna go pull down is the title itself. Let's just drag it up to the corner right there. So this will cause the animation for the Triforce. The next one we need is the waterfall. So we're gonna go here, snap it. Oh, I, I forgot, close this out. I forgot about the depth on these. Um, let's just make sure the depth shows up correctly. So one thing to note, I don't think we've dealt with depth at all before, but um, there's a parameter here called depth. Zero, um, all, all objects start off at zero. Negative depth, causes it to show closer to the screen and positive depth will push it away from the screen. So anything with a positive number would show up behind this one. Anything with a negative number would show up in front of this. So we're gonna set the waterfall water to negative 10. And the waterfall waves to negative 20, just to make sure that they show up in the right order. Okay, now we're gonna go to the room. Uh, we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna to go to objects and click the waterfall and we're gonna click control and add it there. And it's gonna snap right in place because it's it fits right into this, this tile set here. And the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the title, we're gonna click uh, control and add the waves. And that's really all we need to make this show up. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so the Triforce is showing up a little fast, so we're gonna slow that down. Um, let's let it run back through. Uh, we'll, we're gonna change all that too. And this is running a little too slow. So we're gonna speed up the waves and slow down the Triforce. But first, uh, let's give our, our state a little bit more time so we can observe it. So we're gonna go down to the game state. So you go to scripts, states, game. You go to the title, and right now we have it set to five seconds. Um, let's just say 700 seconds or 700 uh, milliseconds for now. And now we're going to go back to objects, tile, and we're going to change this one. And we're going to slow down the object title. Let's go to 05, 0.05. Let's see if that works for that. And then for the waterfall waves, let's speed this one up and say, um, point seven, five, and test that out. Okay, it's a little bit better. We might actually set this all the way to one for the, the waves. And I'm wondering if that's just a tad too slow. Um, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the original. Let's go to reset and let it run. So yeah, it's fading a little bit more and these are faster. So let's change that, both of those. Whoops, I didn't mean to close that, but that's okay. We don't need it anymore. So we're gonna go to the waterfall waves. Let's set this one to one. And the object title to 0.1. And that should be better. Yeah, that looks better. I think that almost looks perfect now. So the last thing we're gonna do is uh, on this 
is we're going to add the fade. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the game title. And so what we have here is um, after 700 steps in the game, we're just going to go to the room. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to change this instead of switching to anything after 700 um, seconds or second 700 steps. Let's do this. We're going to say draw set alpha to um, we're going to do draw get alpha and we're going to subtract 0 0.05 from it. So alpha is uh, how transparent um, everything is. So when we set this, we're going to start making it fade out um, to the ba black background. And instead of state time here, we're just going to say if the draw get alpha is less than or equal to zero, then we're going to switch over to here. So this is going to fade it out as long as the state time has been over 700 uh, steps. And then once it fades out, we're going to go to the, the next screen. So in order to test this to make it faster test, let's just drop this down to 100. Yeah, so that's what it does. Let's make it fade just a little bit slower. So we're gonna drop this to one and, and see if that is better. So that fades a little bit slower. So now you know how to fade it. Um, and then that'll take us to the next screen. So the last thing that we're going to do, we're going to set this back to 700 is now we're going to add the music. So the way you add music, um, first we're going to go to sounds and we're going to create a group called music, and then we'll have sound effects as well. And here we're going to right click and cre say, create sound. And we're going to call this sound music intro and we're going to go find a sound and i'm going to add the intro sound and by the way i'm going to include all the sprites all the sounds in the patreon page so go check that out the link will be in the description below uh, leave everything else the same we're going to just click okay so that adds a sound to game maker now we need a way to call it and so at the very title screen what we want to do is say um, we're going to first say if audio is playing sound music intro. And actually we're going to say as long as the audio is not playing, as long as this intro is not playing, let's go ahead and audio play sound. And we say, let me open this a little bit so you guys can see everything. I'm going to say sound, music, and intro. So the first parameter is the, the sound clip. The second one is priority. And for now, we're just going to set this to one. And the last one is loops. And we're going to say true. This will We're going to let this loop. If, if it gets to the end, it's going to go ahead and loop. So that adds the sound to the intro. And now we're going to go to the select screen. So once you get to the select screen, the, the sound actually goes away. We're going to say audio stop sound, sound, music, intro. And that will actually stop the song when we get to the select screen, which happens when we press the start button. So let's test this out. That sounds great. So the it's, the screen's supposed to fade out right around now. It should fade out and then it would bring up the screen and it starts scrolling. So that actually worked out really well. So that's everything we needed for the title screen. We're basically done. And the next Things that we need to work on are that select uh, the the item screen, make that scroll the way it's supposed to, and then get to the select screen, and then we're going to start adding more and more features to the actual player and the rooms. And actually, I've been holding off on doing the room 
creations because I have another idea about how to make that simpler so that we can create the overworld maps and the level maps. And so I'm working on finalizing that before we jump into it, but it's very, very close. So look out for that. All right, guys, thanks for everything. Um, please subscribe if you're new and you like this. Uh, please give this a thumbs up uh, if you like the video. It helps me understand if I'm doing a good job. So I'll see you guys next time.